You are watching Travel with Tavish. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. I am currently on a 10 day trip across Sri Lanka. This is day 8 and I have checked out from my hotel in Mirissa and I am heading to Hikadova, which will be my stay for the next 2 days. On the way, I will stop at Unavatuna beach and golf fort. After a very scenic drive from Mirissa, we are now at Unavatuna beach. It's a brilliant sunny day today and the beach is pristine with turquoise blue waters and golden sand. We'll spend some time here and take a quick dip and catch a snack and then head further to Gol. There are a few options here for water sports and dolphin tours as well as scuba diving. This boat seems like it has just come back from the sea after a diving session. We are now at Gal Fort. The water is pretty clear and even from up here I can spot some fish and sea life. This is the lighthouse. And this is the sea in front. The sea is quite beautiful from here. And apparently the sunset also is pretty good. We are here at uh, in the afternoon at around 1 pm and it's partially cloudy so it's okay. In uh, a very sunny weather it's probably a little difficult to walk around but um in the evening it's uh, probably much better to walk around explore the place and the weather will be nice
Welcome to Hikadoa Beach. Located on the southwest coast, Hikadoa is known for its vibrant coral reef ecosystem. Hikadoa offers beautiful sandy beaches, golden sunsets, along with a beautiful marine life. Hikadoa Beach isn't just a haven for sunbathers. It's also a nesting ground for endangered sea turtles. Here, conservation efforts are underway to protect these turtles. This is the Hika Trans Hotel which is a major landmark in Hikadoa and a big 5 star hotel on the beach. In front is the famous Turtle Point. Turtles often come up close to the beach and can be seen very clearly here. This is one end of the beach and it goes on till there. We started the next day at our stay Villa Gamini and spotted these langurs at a nearby tree. After watching them for some time, we headed out for some breakfast and crossed this railway line on which a train was approaching. MM Scraps is a great place for breakfast and we ended up going there a few times during our stay in Hikatuba. After breakfast, we went once again to the beach to explore some more and try to catch some of the amazing sea life.
We celebrated New Year's Eve at the beach and brought in the new year with some amazing fireworks. With this, my amazing 10-day Sri Lanka trip came to an end. I started in the central hills of Nuwara Elia and Ella and made my way to the beaches of the south. Throughout the trip, the abundant natural beauty and warmth of the Sri Lankan people made this an unforgettable trip. I hope you like this video and the series. Please do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such content. Till next time, take care. Bye.